of Robin, harvesting home. Turn this water into rum. Oh, oh, hey, didn't see you there. Shame has taught me this new spell that I've been trying out, but unfortunately, it hasn't been working. Not yet, anyway. I'm gonna continue to try. But that's not why you're here. You're not here to learn new spells. Well, not yet, anyway. Today is the Akio Crate, where we got magic delivered. What's up, YouTube Zero here? And today I have the Akio Crate unboxing from May 2022. Let's open this up and unleash the magic inside. As I'm opening up this crate with my handy dandy pocket knife, if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more mystery box unboxing content. I do a bunch of other videos too, so feel free to check those out as well. Without further ado, let's open this up. The crate has some weight to it, so I'm excited to see what's inside. Let's see this proclamation that's on top. We have a little bit of black paper, but we have a proclamation. And actually, it looks like we have something about the cheat sheet, or something about, we have the cheat sheet, and then we have something about the quarterly crate coming out. So, we have a proclamation, but this is about the quarterly box. Of course, for those of you who haven't watched my previous Akio unboxings, they're going to a quarterly crate, no longer monthly, which is going to allow for beefier boxes, but of course only once a quarter. Let's open up this box, a mystery box inside a mystery box. So I'm going to open up this first mystery box and see what's inside. And it looks like a water bottle. And we have a proclamation on here as well. Going to take that off. So we got our wooden straw, we have our top, and then we have a proclamation. So let's read this proclamation. Proclamation. Ministerial decree number 184. All ministry employees will drink water and stay properly hydrated. Hydrate while at work. This decree is sponsored by the Department of Magical Health and Well-Being. So a nice item. It's actually rubbery, so it allows for a good grip on the bottle itself while you're drinking if you're sweating maybe you take this to a running event maybe you're a marathon runner maybe you're at a sporting event but wherever you are it's going to be nice to grab onto it's going to be hard to slip out of your hand because of the rubber then it is of course you have some wooden material up here the wooden straw and a nice item to start. There's nothing in here, of course, no water, but I'm gonna have to put some water in here and try and turn it into rum with that spell that I was learning from Seamus. Hopefully nothing goes wrong with the spell. If you know of what he was trying to do, you've probably seen what happened. Watch the movies if you don't know. Next item in the crate, let's go. We have another mystery box inside of the mystery box so this is a wooden box and there's nothing inside of the wooden box but it looks like a place where you can keep some items it's actually wood it actually has a nice wood smell to it if you've ever been to home depot or lowe's and walk through the wood section this is what that smells like if i'm being just quite frank so on the front this is where you can actually keep you're writing utensils for this, but I'm gonna keep maybe my pocket knife in there or some of my wands a little bit too long for it, but I know I have some use for this. Might keep some jewelry in here actually. So let's read this established in 1749, Scribulus writing implements. So a nice item, let's get a close up of the engravement. It's wood, it's a really nice item and really cool. I like, I'm gonna keep this on my desk probably. I'm going to put, like I said, maybe some jewelry in here because this just seems like a nice box to keep some jewelry in. So keep some rings and some necklaces in here. So this is a awesome item. You can use this as a pencil case, but me, I'm gonna keep this as a jewelry box because it just seems right. It seems right with the material and everything. And not gonna lie, I really like the smell of it. I like the smell of wood. So, now we got two of our items. Let's continue rolling with 
whatever else is in this crate. I, I see one on top. We got, we actually got a pencil. So now let's take a look at the outside. Of course, can always use pencils. And I have a pencil sharpener somewhere around here. See that we have the M on there. So a cool item. Let's, let's see if it fits. So I'm gonna open this up and so you have to angle it a little bit or just sharpen it down, but it does fit on an angle. Put this back and now we have one pencil inside of our case. I'll take that out later. Now let's get to our next. We have Spello tape. So this must be some form of tape let's take a look we got our m for the ministry of magic we have spello tape in our second line and then we have a nice little thing on our third line so actually a really cool item tape that you can show off your harry potter spirit which is always cool you're wrapping gifts for one of your Harry Potter friends or family for their birthday, holiday. That is actually really cool that you can utilize this tape for gifts or whatever else you want to tape. And of course, this is an Akio exclusive Spello tape. I'm going to have to, for some of my friends, utilize this for their birthdays. I'm excited for that because I have a bunch of Harry Potter friends and family that I can utilize that for. Now, the next item is please return all cutlery to the Ministry Cafe. Let's take a look inside because this has some weight to it. This isn't just a box. Let's open this up and look at this. We actually have Ministry utensils. Now, I'm sorry to the ministry, but I ain't returning these items. Let's, I gotta break these out because they are a really cool color. I'm not sure if y'all can see that through the plastic. So I'm gonna rip off this plastic real quick so you can see just the awesome color on these. These are really cool. I can't wait to break these out. I'm assuming, I don't want to assume anything, but they feel like, if you can hear that, you can see the color on these. These are not only really badass looking utensils, but they are legit. It's not like they're plastic or anything. I'm hoping, it doesn't say anywhere that you can't dishwash these, so that's even better if you can put these in the dishwasher that the color won't come off or anything. I hope the color doesn't come off because if you're eating and it's coming off in your mouth, that's probably really weird. But these are awesome, really cool color, really usable items, which I love. It's just a butter knife. It really doesn't have much of a cut to it. Really cool items. I'm really pumped about these. These look so great. So we got the three utensils, spork, knife, and spoon. So I am pumped about these. These may end up being my favorite item out of these crates because they look so cool. Look at the color on these. Just absolutely fantastic and we got a box so when you're traveling you can take them probably not on i'm not sure if you can get these through to get on a plane with but if you're traveling via car really cool items to have you could probably get away with at least the spoon maybe not the knife Funny story, one time I accidentally had a knife in my backpack and I tried to go through security and security guard was like, do you have a knife in your bag? And I'm like, hell no, I ain't got a knife in my bag. And she pulled out a knife and I'm just like, oh, well, I guess I do have a knife in my bag. All right, the next item is it looks like we have some stickers for the Ministry of Magic. So you can, we have a bunch of them actually. We have paper upon paper of seals. Really, you could utilize these to seal letters that's just what comes to mind when i first see these is when you're putting the envelope down just put this on the back of that envelope and mail out whatever you got to mail out so we have some nice ministry make your letters magical friendly by putting a ministry sticker on there making it a ministry of magic official letter so these are pretty cool items for when you are mailing 
letters to some of your friends who love Harry Potter because people who don't know Harry Potter, they're gonna be like, hey, what's this M for? I don't know anyone with an M name, especially if your name's not M. I mean, if you have an M name, then yeah, this could work, but mail these to, it says official ministry. So people are gonna wonder if they're not Harry Potter people. I'm not sure if you can see that kind of a glare, but people who are not Harry Potter, they're like, ministry of what? So really cool item that you could put on your letters. Let's get to the next item in the box. There's a lot of small items in this box, which is pretty cool for getting this beefed up. Take a look at what this is. This says interdepartmental memo. Well, let's take a look at this memo. It may be a memo book. Let's take a look at the memo book. So we have interdepartmental memo to do. Pick up flesh eating slug repellent, of course, very important for your garden. So make sure you do that. Then from two, we have wand, we have cauldron, and we have spello tape. So make sure you don't forget anything. Let's see if every page is like that. It looks like all of the pages are the same. And they all say pick up flesh eating slug repellent. So a nice memo pad to have especially if you're sending a letter because it says from to if you want to send a quick letter to a friend or if you want to utilize this for a grocery list you can do that as well or maybe if you want to give it to your significant other to from and then the grocery list even better or chore list you can do a chore list too to do do dishes something that i fail to do a lot so if you want to remember to do the dishes here is your opportunity to remember to do the dishes. Now on to our next item. Let's break out a reusable snack bag. I may even have to utilize this this weekend going camping. So let's take a look at our reusable snack bag. Really cool little item here. We have a wand on there. It says... I think it says licorice wand. And then we have our ginger newt. We have our sherbet lemons. So we have, look at all these items on here. Our chocolate frog, our ginger newt. We have our cauldron cake. We have a pumpkin, which is labeled pumpkin pasty, probably very tasty. So really cool item. Let's open this up as you can see inside. And we could keep all of our snacks in there. Or if you want, you could probably fit the utensils in there. Let's see if we could fit some of these utensils in here. Instead of keeping it in this case, we cannot. You'll see the utensils are a little bit bigger, even if you put it at an angle. So the utensils won't fit in here. You're gonna have to keep the utensils in there. But a actually, look at that. You can, at an angle, put the utensils there. So if you want to put the utensils with your snacks, you can do so. So really cool that you can do that as well. I'm glad that they fit. At first, didn't think they were going to, but it looks like if you keep them at the right angle, they will fit in the bag. So really cool that you can do that as well. And then you can return this box to the ministry, and they won't know, even though... It's a little light, but they won't know. You just put it on the desk and keep walking. They won't have to know that you still have their utensils. All right. Let's see what the next item. It looks like we have a couple more items. Actually, we got a couple more pencils. The one pencil was on top, but we got two more pencils in here. So we have another Scribulous writing utensil. Let's take a look at this pencil. So, of course, it's not a quill. It is a pencil. You're going to have to sharpen it. Probably doesn't sharpen itself unless you know a magical way to do that. Let's take a look at the next one from the desk of Arthur Weasley. So even cool. And they have rubber ducks on them. So that's pretty awesome that we get an Arthur Weasley pencil, which is really cool with his rubber ducks. So those of you watching this video, can you leave a comment and let me know what exactly is the function of a rubber duck. I'm curious. Anyway, let's get on to our next item. And we have a 
This is probably a lunchbox based off of the items we've gotten so far. Probably a lunch bag box. It's a bag that it feels kind of papery, if I'm being honest. Like one of those paper bags you get from a store. But it does have a nice lining to keep your items cool or hot. A nice, nice lunchbox. You see how big it is just based off of its look compared to me. It is a decent sized lunchbox. I'm not necessarily sure I like the string on it itself. I mean, you can fold this up and then wrap the string around to keep it closed, but it wouldn't be my first choice, honestly, if you're trying to string this up. It wouldn't be my first choice of keeping the bag closed. I'd probably prefer a zipper, but nonetheless, it is a cool item, especially to go with the rest of the theme. We got a water bottle, we got utensils. You may actually need to use the tape to tape this closed, but a really nice item. Again, it's lined really well, and this kind of does its job. I mean, you'll have to fold, you'll probably fold this over a few times and then wrap it up to make sure nothing falls out, but a cool item nonetheless. And of course we have the Ministry Cafe Eatery on the front. So another cool item to go and we actually have the sugar cookie recipe that they didn't include in the last crate. So the last crate, if you watched that, if you didn't, feel free to check that out. The last crate was supposed to have two recipe items. They only sent the one vegan one. So it looks like they sent the updated non-vegan one in this crate. So that's pretty cool. We get our sugar cookie recipe so we don't have to be vegan with this one. All right. Now, I believe that is the end of the crate, but let's actually go over the cheat sheet real quick, and then you can let me know in the comments section, apart from what is the function of a rubber duck, what your favorite item in this crate was. I'll tell you mine after we go through the cheat sheet real quick. So back to work at the ministry, whether you're going back to the office or never left, working from home, going to class, we're just living life. This collection was designed to be useful and fun. Full of items tied to the ministry, this box is a little bit of a starter kit for a new employee. Arrive by phone, box, or by flu and add these items to your day to fill it with an extra bit of magic. So we have the hydration decree, of course the water bottle, the ministry notepad and stickers. Then we have our pencil case and pencils, our cutlery set, snack bag, our lunchbox, and our washi tape. So now that we've gone over the items that we got, which item was your favorite? Did you like the water bottle? Are you a runner? The rubber on this is nice to keep a hold of. We also got the wooden straw. Did you like the snack bag? This bag is really cool to keep your snacks in. I'm probably gonna utilize this a lot. It's gonna help me keep track of my snacks. Was your favorite the box or the pencils? We got our box and we got our pencils, or I mean, we got a lot of stuff in this box. Was it the utensils? Let me know in the comment section what your favorite item in this box was. This is actually, and I forgot to show y'all, we actually have an M on the bottom to show these are from the Ministry of Magic. But what was your favorite item in the box? I'm actually getting kind of hungry. My favorite item has to be these utensils. It's actually really cool, although a close second has got to be this box. I really like this box. Really cool. I'm going with the utensils in this one, but let me know in the comment section what your favorite item was. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope your weekend is magical. And until next time, peace. I could do a peace with these, like peace, peace. Till next time, have a good one.